for the most part we see uh, kids get caught with it on just about every day. E-cigarettes, the alternative to cigarettes, are now a trend for teens across the nation. Oftentimes, people are unaware of the risks. Here at Lebanon Trail, if you're caught with an electronic cigarette, uh, what typically happens is you're going to get school discipline and you're also going to get a court referral to municipal court. As an educator, um, I hate to see students put things in their bodies and they don't know what the different ingredients are and yet to have students inhale or ingest something this far into their body is really frightening for me. Vaping, as you know, it's a um, non-combustible tobacco usage. So it's, it's a form of nicotine use that is uh, not burning but it's heated up and then inhale into your lungs. Nicotine use, as you know, nicotine is a cancer-inducing agent and it affects almost everything in your body. Teens who vape experience social pressure. Friends introduced me to it and uh, I thought it was gonna be cool and all that, but it wasn't really. It was like spoiling my health one by one. Friends would give it to me. Sometimes they would ask, uh, sometimes. I hope that with the recent news stories about the deaths that have been caused by vaping that students and the younger ones who think it's just fun or cool or even the older ones who think it's cool will take it more seriously. However, for many legal users, e-cigarettes have been beneficial. Vaping is not smoking cigarettes anymore. It's having a healthier life. I was a two-pack of guy fiending for it. I was like, okay, got to have a cigarette, got to have a cigarette. So I was like, you know what? I want to make a change. I got to stop smoking cigarettes. And vaping got me off of cigarettes. With law changes regarding age on who can purchase and use e-cigarettes, obtaining these devices remains easy for underage users. When it comes to underage people crying like, you know, vape stuff, it's a lot of different ways they could get it. I've seen parents buy their children vape stuff, older brothers, older cousins, you have older friends from school, or you even have the whole, you know, fake ID situation. Like, that's how they are requiring these things, and not every place checks. It's that person that's handling that underage customer, they sometimes get a little lazy and like, okay, they look old enough and just let it go. Some students have access to uh, excess funds for, for whatever reason uh, in their home, huge allowances, lots of money, so they're able to purchase them from the students who do have access to them. Substance abuse comes with drawbacks. There's pros and cons. Pros and cons with, you know, things like uh, smoking cigarettes. But in general, they all develop chronic cough, bronchitis type of picture. They can develop anything related to nicotine use. It was bad for me. I knew it was bad for me. Uh, and I decided to stop. It's a terrifying epidemic, and I do hope uh, parents and students take it seriously. Um, anytime you put anything in your body that doesn't belong, uh, there are going to be negative um, effects to that. We don't know how long it's going to take, and that's the fear. People not knowing the side effects of vaping, danger still exists for those who use it. I'm Jillian Kenlas for Vanguard TV.